since the fight in New York against Andy Ruiz. I think that's uh, that shook him up a little bit. It looks like he's uh, mentally missing something since that fight. The Ruiz loss, actually, that I think took a piece of his soul. I haven't seen the Anthony Joshua that beat Klitschko. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Protect yourself at all times. Deontay Wilder was valiant. He talked about wanting to go out on his shield. He did just that. I'm talking about because he's the guy that, you know, people are always trying to find the flaw in that, or saying that he didn't live up to the hype, or saying that he isn't a guy we thought he was. I think he's battling through it and he is coming out the other side of it, but I still think there's a lot of those heavy doubts that lay in his mind. Fight fans. Welcome back. We're working towards the Deontay Wilder fight. It's one of the biggest fights of all time, one of the biggest fights in boxing. Influence. The capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. He can do it. He can do it. It's in him. He's, 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 a, he's a machine. He can do it. Like many popular figures in society, boxers consider how they're perceived by the wider public, their place among contemporary athletes, how their legacies will be judged. I would say that AJ has passed his best and on the slide, maybe it niggles him that he's probably got no real legacy. In this new era of combat sports, entertainment is key. The counter right hand from off the back foot. Another right hand in Garcia. This body shot and the real estate starting to wear down Clint Hurt. Delivering huge performances inside the ring. It's all over in 90 seconds. Engaging and polarizing away from the heat of battle. So I think it's one of those fights where whoever lands first, whoever wants it more, is going to be the winner. Uh, I think our heavyweight division needs that fight. A chiseled warrior toiling under the weight of expectation. And a bronze bomber hell-bent on destruction. I don't quit. I don't give up, nor do I give in. I don't have a surrender flag on me. Battling opponents and personal demons, two of the biggest, baddest men in the sport, holding undeniable influence over their craft. What I have to do to be Wilder? Get him in the ring and I'll knock him spark out. Here we present Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, the ultimate closer look. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. When the heat of the moment come for me, it's do or die. Do or die. Anthony Joshua, who stayed focused, put 12 weeks of hard work into this camp and was desperate to fight on Saturday night to progress his career, to showcase the hard work that took place. The, the speech mm. of a man who's just doing what he loves. Yeah. Just, just a confident fighter, an experienced fighter. Um, I'm excited. Now. And this man, Anthony Joshua, taking on a late substitute. Can he call on the old Joshua? Oh, good one. In the social media age, popularity is fleeting and fan opinions turn on a dime. I can't wait to see him fight Wilder. And I can't wait to see him fight Fury. Yeah, I want to see him fight Wilder. Joshua Wilder. Joshua Fury. We need it. He can beat Deontay Wilder like that, in our opinion. If he hits him on the chin with that right hand, Wilder's going to sleep. All four major heavyweight players hold their supporters and detractors. Joshua almost is like he's fighting to not lose right now, that he's fighting to win. And you can't fight that kind of fight against guys like Deontay Wilder. From Joshua's stay humble affirmations. Well, you know me, I try and provide for the fans, so I know the, I know who the fans want. To Usyk's wacky persona. Are you the tiger? I? I am White Rabbit. Wilder's catch a body routine. This is the funeral right here. It's just no casket yet. And Fury's fluctuating moods. There's only one man in the heavyweight division, and you're looking at him. So I'm, I'm not in anyway. the so, And what got up on the door? The quartet of characters contrast perfectly. And it works, and I'm searching for ways to improve, and it's just, there's just something in me that knows I can get better. And all my life, I've improved people wrong, you know, and I shall continue to do so each and every time. Does it interest me? The guys are like, they're running away from me for like a year. It's me. It's like I said, he's smarter now. He's going to take his time. And tonight you saw that a guy who took his time, tried to find a range with the right hand, and delivered it in devastating fashion. What can 
I tell you, you know, it's, it's uh, AJ still one of your top heavyweight fighters, no doubt about it. Yeah. You, me, all the fans in the world want to see and have an undisputed world champion. Joshua's increasingly fraught connection with the boxing public suffered further damage when he grabbed the mic in Jeddah after his second loss to Alexander Usyk. Anthony Joshua, but he is annoyed. He's upset. I'm feeling this Usyk, sorry. But it's because oh, passion we put into this man. Delivering a bizarre rant, many were left concerned for his well-being. Oh, no, you don't throw combinations like Rocky Marciano. Because I ain't 14 stone, that's why. I'm 18 stone, I'm heavy. Usyk as a champion, please raise your hand. Under them circumstances, he managed to become champion. The first one, not good at all. And the second one was a bit better, but not good enough. And it just showed me that there's another level that we've got to go to, which is going to be tough. Posting a functional display in a Jermaine Franklin return bout, AJ failed to convince against an opponent he would have steamrolled in his prime. And Joshua needs a knockout just to make a statement. Yes, for those many critics who will be lining up. Oh, big right hand from Joshua. Good job, good job. Last few moments in the contest, the bell sounds and Franklin has made it through. The slight frustration I think people have here is that that sort of hesitance, the reluctance to, to let the shots go with real meat uh, and power. Certainly not the case when Wilder reappeared. The fist flowed as comfortably as ever when former sparring partner Robert Hellenius was put to sleep in a quick fire one round demolition. There's Fury. He's able to negate that power a bit. He put Wilder on his back foot. They sat us next to his family, and it oh, ruined no. it for me. I just went, oh my God. Yeah. I got him real, man. You can't deny that power, man. There you go. You can't deny that power. Poor guy, man. He got flattened, man. I suppose rumor that seeded, I think, in some substance that there is a series of fights being arranged in the Middle East. Usyk v Fury, AJ against Wilder, the winners fight each other, the losers fight each other. See, I absolutely love the thought of that. But, but, this is going to be easily the biggest boxing event over there, maybe the biggest sporting event. A mouth-watering four-man boxing tournament in Saudi Arabia has been proposed. This power-punching pair would face off against Fury and Usyk to create the ultimate clash of the titans. In, in theory, it sounds like the best thing in, ever. But in reality, boxing doesn't work that way. But as always in boxing, there are many moving parts to be fixed in place. Yeah, I'm hearing that they're all up for it, except for Fury. Fury's just on a long thing, isn't it? I think he ready to retire. I think, he's, no, I think he wants everything on his terms. Well, it? Yeah, everything yeah. has to be on his terms. Which it should be, because he's the, he's the man. There's a lot of uh, being talked about in the media. I don't believe a word they say. See what happens in the next uh, few weeks or months. The one thing I can say is if they're going to do something, they better get the finger out, aren't they? Because time is ticking. I believe that Anthony Joshua can, has to go in there 100% sure of what he's capable of doing. If he goes in there doubting himself, he gets knocked out. Having both suffered shattering defeats in the past, neither Joshua or Wilder can afford to pass up such an opportunity. Tomorrow I'll show you. It's not like people like you. It's not like For many years in boxing, people like you have been talking. To catapult back to the top. This is exactly what Anthony Joshua needed. He needed the knockout. He needed to answer questions. Did he answer his questions here? Part of chin, of mental doubt. To me, he did. Despite having five losses between them, both of these heavy hitters could conceivably be one well-placed bomb away from a winner-takes-all showdown for the marbles. And he's got to go in there and make it a four or five round shootout and try and land on Wilder. Can he do that? That's the $60 million question, isn't it? Two of the most dangerous men in the sport need to overcome psychological hurdles. No eliminators, confidence builders, or rankings climb. A direct route back to prominence 
likely by vicious knockout. Oh my goodness! You are a bad, bad man! I want one champion, one face, one name, and he go by the name of Deontay Wilder. The heavyweight division is too small to have so many belts lingering around. Tyson, what advice would you give Anthony Joshua? Don't listen to anybody else, not one person, because God forbid anything went wrong, you can't blame other people and start pointing the finger. Always know that you're only to blame yourself because you made that decision. In early 2013, as Joshua considered his pro options... Whatever you do in life, never regret it. Never if, buts, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Give everything while you can, when you can. We'll leave no, no stone unturned in terms of preparing him in the way that he needs to be prepared. And like I said, when we've got this product in Anthony Joshua, this brand, we've got to make sure we maximise it and we make no mistakes whatsoever. The British public enjoyed their first taste of Wilder's ferocious finishing. The United States absolutely craves a new heavyweight champion of the world and in a sense might suggest that boxing could do with that. As the Alabama native travelled to the UK, to blitz another former Olympic gold medalist, Audley Harrison, in a round. He's feeling each other out with that jab. There's the right hand, that's the big shot. And he goes looking for Harrison straight away. Oh. And the referee stopped it. Terry O'Connor stopped it in the first round, the first punch. We're going to fight who we think is the best fight out there. And I can assure you that you'll be fighting for a heavyweight world championship rather sooner than later. I think it's the accuracy, it's not even the power because I haven't been doing much strength work recently because we've been in the gym so much it's just more the accuracy and speed that's getting me through right now Warning! Throughout a fruitful 2015, both fighters remained commendably active and endured tests at varying levels but I love this job, and I love it. I don't see myself doing anything else but knocking people out, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just got one question for you, Jim, and it's a hypothetical one. I'm not going to ask you to answer. How many heavyweights right now would you put ahead of Anthony Joshua? I ain't scared to express myself because I'm a bag it up. I ain't scared to walk high with my hair hair and my chest are stuck out as well, too, because I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for any test. Further along in his journey, Deontay displayed a different dynamic by outboxing talented yet erratic Haitian Bermain Stiverne to win the WBC title. Now, so don't feel bad when you lose, Deontay. It's about this here. You're young, follow your dreams, get back up, dust yourself off, and get back into the game. It's gonna be a fight like you've never seen before. I ain't a cab driver. I'm gonna keep your record clean. Cause you ain't gonna pass four rounds. Y'all live for a tree. I ain't never been so ready to whoop a man in a long time. You know what? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm trying to catch a case. Boy, you gonna get hurt. You gonna get hurt. He said he brought you to the top. But what you gonna do when he gets stopped? Cause I'm about to put this Haitian on permanent vacation. And the new. And this one could very well come down to who lands the first big punch. Pounce. Lead right hand by Stavard as we ask why we're doing right now. And now Wilder pouring on the pressure at the bell. And a takedown at the bell by Stavard. Dink, Dink, be smart. He's trying to back you up because he thinks it's wearing you down mentally, but it's not. Right? Wilder is consistently being walked down. He's used to guys respecting his power. And remember, Deontay Wilder is used to guys going down when he hits them like this. He gave me his best punch. I, I smiled at it because. It didn't phase me. And Wilder now going on the attack. Stavern trying to cover up along the ropes. Ha! Who can't take a punch? Who can't go 12? Who can't overcome the adversity? He can, he can, he can. The new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay. Who got me now? Who got me now? the toughness that he had and um, I, I couldn't ask for a better opponent and uh, of course he, he didn't hurt me at all you know while Wilder's knockout streak finally came to an end 
Joshua was busy racking up his own routine demolition jobs across the pond. This begun in the first, he's caught it with another right hand. Inside around, there goes the bell, and Johnson is finished. And it's over. it's all over in 90 seconds. It'll ring some alarm bells through the heavyweight division in world boxing. No one's come close to doing that to Kevin Johnson. What a terrific talent this young man is. It's like when I fought Anthony Joshua. That was the first time I ever sustained some damage and I had to step away from the game for a long time to evaluate myself, my, my mentality, my insanity. The country should get behind him because he's 100% dedicated to the sport. He's a role model and he's going to be huge for British boxing and British sport. And see Joshua is going all the way. However, subtle comparisons were starting to form. Shortly after Wilder's world title success, AJ battered Jason Gavern in three rounds. Anthony Josh was a uh, special person. I think he was he 24, 25 years old. He's 11 and all, 11 knockouts. He's a tremendous fighter. I think he can be definitely heavyweight champ of the world. He might be the future of uh, the heavyweight division once Pitch goes clear out and retire. Uh, he's a tremendous fighter. Gavern had been Wilder's last victim before the Stavern win. Well, time to protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Are you one of these people that think Deontay Wilder's record suggests he's overhyped and the, the opponents have been like overmatched? Yeah, no. Or you think he's a real deal? Been opponents of Wilder who have been knocked out with without much effort from Wilder. Malik Scott among them. Gavin's a legit tough guy. I mean, he's 31 and 0 for a reason. It's not his fault he hasn't last, you know, four rounds or gone beyond that because he's knocking everybody out. So. Closing out the year as a newly cemented pay-per-view attraction, Anthony came back from some extremely rocky moments to outlast domestic rival Dillian White. All I got to do is go to camp, prepare myself right, and listen to what my coach say, work on things, and come back here and knock him out. That's all, I don't fear no man. You're getting hurt December, I'm telling you now. I'm going to mess you up. You're lucky to be on my undercard, as far as I'm I'm on the undercard because I kicked your ass before I'm going to do it again, you look punk. Big Tang, Michael Jordan 6 on him King. Listen how we rip Tang. Do you want to do it now? Talk too much. Do you want, let everybody get the room now. Me and you stay in here, we can have it. And see who walks out. I don't scared of nobody. I don't scared of a skinny bodybuilder. I gotta take it with an empty. No, 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 no. Let's go, then. Let's go, then. Let's go now! History, big guy, Harrison, mate. History's been made. Your heart will fail you, trust me. Who are you, a doctor? Are you really getting nervous when I'm around you? Calm down. Shut up, bro. Listen, you're a small man and you're getting hurt, bro. It's scheduled for 12. Surely there is no way it's going to go the distance. Yeah, he's putting his foot down here. Look at this. Look at that grin on his face there. He's like, I've got you. Well, oh, and look at White. White's gone crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Joshua is, is absolutely running this. And just get the sense that there's a little edge of desperation. Yeah. Oh, that's he's shaking that, here. That's that counter left hook we were talking about. Is Joshua's wobbling. Him with a huge right uppercut, White is down, he's and I'm not sure there. he's getting up from that. You know I mean, he, he fought well, I fought well. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're both British fighters. I'll be back in the new year, a couple of wins, and I'll, I'll be back, I'm right back here again. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. I think more the fact that it was all more about bragging rights. There's a lot of talking. Uh, I just enjoy being victorious and just showing that talk is cheap. You got back out when you're in that ring. So I definitely have to congratulate him for his fight. And um, and like I said, for all of them, all of them, I'm looking forward to finding. If he's the next guy people want to see, you know, after I handle all the rest, I'm looking forward to finding him as well too. Defending his new crown with impressive regularity, Wilder was exposed to a different UK threat. I was a flashlight, now I'm a star. There is a new era in heavyweight boxing. He said he'd do it. It's unanimous on the card. Fresh from a famous away win over Vladimir Klitschko, new unified king Tyson Fury was loving life when he stormed the ring to confront Deontay after the bomber rewired Arthur Spielberg. It's a lot of shite, mate. There's only one. 
These both of these guys should be cleaning my shoes. They ain't good enough to lace my boots. They ain't good enough to hold my coat. Fury, you just you just a phony, man. This is just for act. You know where I am, you know what time, you know what place. I ain't scared of nobody. I come in your backyard, baby, for that, my man. When I fight Tyson, no mercy, no remorse, no sorrow for him. I am gonna come seek, kill, and try to destroy him. And um, and I will beat him and grab the rest of the belt. I'll fight you in your backyard and like a dumb glitch go. I'll beat you, you bum. You're a bum. As Fury slid away in a morass of personal issues, Wilder kept on knocking people out. You should definitely. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, that's, that's the best way I could describe it. They say unbelievable that Wilder only landed one left hand and it was over. But then a lot of people also saying Ger uh, Gerald exposed uh, Deontay Wilder. Washington looked really smart. I was thinking, wow. Right there, not respecting <laughs> it. Either, either. And he sort of got off at right hand. Definitely. Oh, 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 oh. And he went down. And he didn't, he got up and he sort of looked at the canvas. Washington is on steady legs. And then he came back over and got a couple more and he didn't look like he wanted to know. Griffin is getting closer. Washington is hit again. And it's Griffin stopping this one. I was surprised myself, you know what I mean? But uh, but I just, I just, that was just a little lack of experience, man. A little lack of poise, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just thinking ahead now. Is it David Hayes? Is it Wilder? Which it's we won the belts. You know, we want the belts. Um, we want the world to fight, really. That's the fight. The heavyweight champion of the world is the greatest title for an individual in all of sports. I'm a world champion now, and I'm going to keep it. She's staying right there with me. I walk this earth like a god. You see what I'm saying? Joshua picked up the IBF world title against hapless champion Charles Martin, and the rivalry gathered pace. Martin. You asking me if I think the hype is real? Mm -hmm. I told you that I was going to come out and punish him. I'll show him levels. I told you. It doesn't matter who it is next. He's going to beat them all. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. That belt makes you a target, though, for every other heavyweight in the world. Are you ready for that? As he challenges the new generation, Britain's AJ, Anthony Joshua. 18 wins, 18 knockouts. Continuing into 2017, AJ stepped into the Wembley ring to confront his most seismic challenge to date. This is a world record in the heavyweight division. No other heavyweight ever had so many world title fights. The dominant former heavyweight ruler, Dr. Steelhammer, Vladimir Klitschko. Next opponent, which is Anthony Joshua. I'm going to fight a guy whose age is exactly the number how long I've been in boxing. 27 years. This isn't science, it's not rocket science, it's just a fight. And as I said, let's strip it right back to what it is. Um, a young lion, ferocious, hungry, and very determined. The time has arrived. Light the judge paper. With, with uh, the Klitschko and Joshua fight, my heart is with Joshua, but my mind is with Klitschko, you know. I'm on, what the hell? I'm looking up at the stars. I'm like, this wasn't part of the script. Will he make it up? It was a heavier fall than I had to find something that I didn't think was in me. is about character and when you go to the trenches that's when you find out who you really are.
But the way he come back, you know, the question marks, heart, chin, all answered. You know, I don't know what's next, whether it's Klitschko again, whether it's Fury, whether it's Wilder. I guarantee it will be a big fight. But the fact that he got up, the fact that he was um, willing to go to hell, through hell, to win that title, you know, that shows a lot about, about his character. That shows that he has that, uh, uh, that champion heart. What's next for you? I never duck a challenge, so if people want to see me fight Tyson Fury, I'm not going anywhere. I will fight Tyson Fury. If Vladimir wants to fight, I will fight Vladimir once again. Thank you very much. I was hoping you'd say something about Deontay Wilder, but it is what it is. All I ever wanted to do was prove to the world that I am the best, that I know I am. I am the baddest. I do hit the hardest. I am the most feared. I promise you, to God, I will be two-time everywhere champion of the world, and none of these gonna stop me. None of y'all gonna stop me. And here we are again. He was the only man to survive, and this is what makes us a great fight. Because when I knock him out, there won't be no fighter that says they survive. Vern highlight knockout was one of the most ridiculous knockouts yeah. of all time. When you stand there with your hands down, <laughs> and you step forward, and you, it's like it was a comic book scene. That's it. That's it. When I stood over him like that, I was outside of my body. I could see me and him standing there, and like I was a third person. Statement. That is a statement. In March 2018, just weeks after Wilder knocked out Ortiz in a thrilling Barclays Center headliner. Joshua defeated Joseph Parker in Cardiff. And he says, I've got a glass gin. I want to know if he's got the power to damage. Oh, I trust him. He's got the power. Why do you think he's got a glass gin? They weren't personal. It wasn't trash talk. Statement of fact. Joshua has allegedly, and there's footage going around, been dropped a few times, and we, we made a point of that. Is there any truth to you actually knocking down and Joshua inspiring in the past? Yes, there is definitely truth to that. Um, I'm not going to deny it. Are you going to knock me out? Yeah, of course I am. On Saturday night, win, look good, and the world is your oyster. You said it, that's it. Straight to Wilder. And adding Parker's WBO belt to his IBF and WBA straps, AJ successfully evaded the New Zealanders' one-dimensional assault. The right hand can take you around the block, but a good jab will take you around the world. With a compact style, capable of neutralizing big punchers, exactly like Deontay Wilder. What I'd have to do to beat Wilder? Get him in the ring and I'll knock him spark out. See Joshua for me, just did what he had to do. But I said it on commentary and um, I'll say it again. I don't think he sent a message to Deontay Wilder. I don't think Deontay Wilder was worried about that performance. Listen, AJ, please don't fight Wilder because he'll knock your spark out and take my 50 million. And when, when Joshua says he'll knock Deontay Wilder spark out, Deontay Wilder does not believe him. It's as simple as that, you don't believe him. Josh, you know I'm coming for you. 2018 is what you should be worrying about. You said if the people want it, then you want it. Well, people want it. Do you? Do you think it will happen, and do you think it will happen next? It has to happen. I think there's not really been many fights in the heavyweight division in history that haven't happened when you're talking about championship level. I think Joshua has an easier time beating a guy like Wilder than he has fighting a guy like Parker. Um, Joshua, he always plays the nice guy. Um, and. It seemed like his confidence isn't, isn't as high as a champion should be, you know? So, in terms of history, I think that this fight has to happen because it wouldn't be great for this era of boxing if it doesn't happen. Joshua's team opened negotiations with the WBC King's representatives. $50 million purses were being touted for the undisputed showdown. Well, Anthony, you know with your man Eddie and Barry Hearn and tell them to check their email. I got something special for you. And by the way, all the money's in the bag. But I got an email um, from Deontay Wilder, actually, not from Shirley or Al or anyone like that, from uh, Deontay. What did they want? They said they wanted 50 mil, so I gave it to them. So soon we'll see the fight. Are you serious? He got to be a man of he got to be a man of his word. Just said, um, dear Anthony, you said in an interview that if I gave you 50 million, 
you'd sign for the fight tomorrow. If that's the case, Wilder's team, bring me 50 million up front and we'll take the fight. Um, no disrespect to Deontay, but I don't believe he has that kind of money, so I want to know where it's coming from and who's paying it. And we can't just afford to accept a deal that doesn't exist. I don't know. I don't know if he really wants it, because we offered 50 million and he didn't take it. No, nothing. It should be simple to sort it out this time, shouldn't it? Let's just set us down face to face. That'll be good. Anthony Fury or Wilder, man? Who do you want more? Who do you want next? You know, everyone wants to know the answer to this question. Wilder, he's got the belt. I've got the four belts. It's about to unify. If you serious, I'm serious. This is your ultimate test right here. This is who you gotta beat right here. What I need is a WBC. If he's ready and wants to prove he's the best in the world, he can come see me. So let's make this happen. Let's get it fan what they wanna see. They wanna see unification. They wanna see the biggest mega fight in the world history. I don't believe Deontay Wilder is a liar. But some of the things he says, he's either a liar or he's been lied to. And I go with life too. Yeah, of course, everybody wants to see Anthony Josh and, and Deontay Wilder, of course. I don't know. They say they want to fight, but they had the opportunity to fight me before. When talks hit a wall, Wilder turned his attention elsewhere. However, on the comeback trail after a two and a half year layoff, the ultimate heavyweight heel sensationally stepped into the gap. And the return of Tyson Fury, the former undefeated world heavyweight champion. He's got no guts. He didn't want to fight Deontay Wilder, so he took me, the Gypsy King, to step in. Fight more than <laughs> Does this mean we're going to see? Not only would what I'm doing would be amazing, but it would solidify my name in this sport at the top. I will be the man that beat the man. If I lose to these bums, I'll never be able to show my face in public ever again. I'll never be able to call myself the Gypsy King anymore for losing to a weightlifter and a football player. Wilder, champion or dosser. Fury, Combat or King. Controversially, drawing with Fury was the best thing to happen for their rivalry, as Wilder's aura remained, especially given the dramatic last round knockdown. When I saw him rise up, I was like... <laughs> the decision is a split decision draw. One of the greatest sporting stories you would ever, ever see. He, he did an amazing job. Uh, he did an amazing job. You've seen the best Fury, but you didn't see the best Deontay Wilder. If you have to draw to be class a heavyweight champion of the world, that's not what I'm going for. I'm knocking people out straight up. Three years after Joshua handed Dominic Brazil a seven round beating, Wilder obliterated him in one with a right hand from the gods. Is that right? Boom! Right on the chin. Brazil crumpled over. Settling a two year long feud that started in an Alabama hotel lobby. I looked over and said, listen, man, if you say something like that again to me, I'm going to I read where Joshua went out and said it took me seven rounds to knock out Brazil, and if Deontay takes eight, it shows who was the better fighter. When you see that punch, oh. does it scare you at all? The thought of, of being in the ring with that? No, not scary, but I know it's there. You know, there's certain punches, right? Some are like concussive. Very, very strong. Oh, oh, some are stinging. Oh, good action here in the seventh and Usyk opening up. Some are like punches where they knock you out with one punch and you're out. Down goes Ortiz! He is the baddest man on the planet for a reason! Wilder possesses that kind of power. It's about eliminating that power and just studying how to deal with it, really. Seeing that you've been in the ring with both Wilder and Joshua, do you, who do you think wins? I'll be honest with you, I, I, I've, I've... Eric Molina also offered a compare and contrast opportunity for public deliberation. Stops in the third round, Anthony Joshua! Oh, and the left hook drops Molina! After facing both of them, I say Deontay Wilder wins that fight, and I think that he is that heavyweight, and I think that he does have that power. 
and I think that he will do that to AJ. And I have to follow my heart in that respect and say, Ed, which one do you know will be a much, much better fight? The fighters that talk about stepping up, I'll take on Joshua, I'll do this, yeah, and then unrealistic financial demands or deciding to put half a Walgreens in your body. And when you speak to people in boxing, they all say Joshua Ruiz will be an absolute war. All the feedback I'm getting from the boxing community is this is a much tougher fight than Jarrell Miller. Hello America, we're here. We're here like not to take part, but to take over. Anthony, don't underestimate this little fat boy. I'm coming for you. We don't know how long it's going to last, but we know Ruiz will give it everything. He'll let his hands go. He's dangerous, he's explosive, he's fast. Headlining in New York, Less than a month after Wilder destroyed Brazil, AJ dramatically dropped the ball first by losing to Andy Ruiz. What was amazing was when you got dropped, he tried to move in for the kill, and then you started landing bombs on him and dropped him. It was wild, man. It was yeah. a wild fight. It was my first time getting dropped. I wasn't surprised at all, and I told uh, my manager, Shelly, I told him not to be surprised if uh, Andy win. Mom, I love you. <laughs> we don't have to struggle no more. Thanks to God. This is what boxing is all about. You just can't read a book by its cover. It was a huge mental blow to the Englishman, who some think has never truly recovered. Unbelievable. I mean, obviously, he's still in shock. I think it's going to take a few days to sink in. Um, AJ's one of the best finishers in the game. Got caught with a big shot to the top of the head and never really recovered. Afraid to tell the truth. Now, I just think if Anthony Joshua was to retire now, what would he be remembered for? He'd be remembered for beating an old Klitschko that'd been sat on the sofa for 18 months. And then people are going to remember him for losing to the fat kid from Mexico. The whole thing was a bit strange. Joshua's demeanor, the whole build up, his, his mindset, his approach, it was all a bit strange for my liking, to be honest. This man doesn't face Andy Ruiz in a rematch immediately. His titles are all going to Deontay Wilder. I walked up to shot and that absolutely demolished his career and the AJ that we knew. Maybe he just didn't want the pressure of being champion anymore. You know, sometimes these things happen. Sometimes people have breakdowns or... You know, it feels like it rips away a part of you. But for me, as I said, I'm never going to switch up and change on anyone. I'm still the same me, still ambitious. There was some diving start after he got knocked out by Andy Ruiz. But like Canelo, He's overrated. For Wilder versus Fury 2. Yes, the long-awaited rematch between the heavyweight titans is set. I'm not afraid to go El Mono, El Mono. We're the biggest puncher on the planet. Biggest puncher of heavyweight boxing. No man on earth will ever be in Touch him all over the stage right now if I wanted to. And he couldn't do nothing about it. Sit down. Pick him and throw him across that room. I just know. It's not what you do great and what you do wrong. I know deep in my heart I can beat you. You can't punch. I don't know what you're talking about. Knocking somebody in the second round. You ain't never knocked nobody in no second round. You got pillows for fists. We can see that my two-year-old can hit harder than him. I bet Fury wins. I said it. I think a man that... That nearly done the first time, won't get it wrong the second time. Equally unequipped at tasting defeat, Wilder's punishing loss in an early 2020 rematch with Tyson Fury hit the Alabama banger hard. I don't know any other heavyweight in the world or in history who could do to Wilder what uh, Tyson Fury is doing here tonight. They thrown the towel in, the fight's all over. They thrown the towel in from the Wilder corner. Leading him into a world of paranoid conspiracy. Oh. That's a bummer, man. The Deontay Wilder stuff that's going on right now. He's he's released three different excuses. I had to believe you put something hard in your glove. Something the size and the shape of an egg weight. And he knows what he's saying is lies. And deep yeah. down in his soul, he knows that he lost. And he'll lose again. And in this case, beat him as a boxer. Beat him as the slugger. Any which way you want to slice it. Tough fight, tough fight. Um, you know, we've been on the plus side of 40... Something of these, so uh, this is a new experience. Um, he did what he did. It's no excuses, and we come back and be stronger. I didn't think his legs looked like they normally look, and so I know he came to the ring, and they're very, very like they, the outfit was very heavy, and uh, I don't know if that had to do with it or the if it, outfit that you wore to the ring, wearing over 40 pounds, is why you think you lost this fight. A lot of people are being very harsh on Deontay Wilder. 
mainly because of his excuse, which was probably the worst thing you, I mean, you could ever come out of in the history of boxing. And what I think he ran into is somebody who had even greater skill, but even greater will. Fighting regularly, bubbling with unabating confidence, Deontay and his dedicated fan base believed he was simply unbeatable. A true champion, this will all, it'll always burn if you're a true champion. Always. A loss will always burn if you're a true champion. We ain't going nowhere, for the war has just begun. I will rise again. You know, the mystique's gone, hasn't it? You know, that, oh my, don't go too close to Wilder, oh, wait for the right hand, oh, oh. Now it's like, okay, get my way in and just beat you up. A guy whose technique was there to fail him on any given night, and his power was there to save him on any given night. Probably a good time for Wilder to fall back, go on vacation, just take time to think and process and not do interviews because he may say things now that later down the road he regrets. Tonight, his technique failed him, and his power, oh, it never got a chance to save him. I call myself so many a warrior. I call myself so many a king. Yeah. What you gonna do now, King? What I got to do is get back to the drawing board, put in the work, and over the period of time I'm boxing, just change the script and get another W, fight for the championship belts again and get back on that gravy train. Gently rebuilding a fragile confidence, Joshua felt he was too big and strong for undisputed cruiserweight king Alexander Usyk who led him a merry dance over 12. The challenge oh, was Sheehan Usyk, a reality shot. Oh, good, good shot from Usyk. He's got to try anything he can in there now. Accustomed to tasting defeat, AJ now boxes minus the burden of unbeaten expectations. And no! I can tell you that when people talk about the hunger of a fighter, you only have to see the changing room of Anthony Joshua after tonight to realise how hungry he is in the sport. It's a weak performance by me. I think so. I wasn't supposed to lose in my head. And it just, I, I give my life to this game, man. And by that I mean he's exasperated and frustrated by the fact he could not, could not better this guy. And, and ultimately he has a sense of entitlement because he's been led to believe that somehow or another he's something that and is he's not. he's going to go out to Saudi Arabia jump in the ring with Deontay Wilder and get El Sparkoed in one round, like I said before. While neither are the most technically astute, Joshua is more refined than his American counterpart. The technical aspect, you have to like Joshua, but you, if Joshua gets hit by that right hand, it's like any of these other guys, they're gonna go. Though so there is physically very little between these man mountains. And it's hard to imagine the guy I've seen recently getting through all 12 rounds without getting caught with a Deontay right hand. They need someone to be honest to AJ and go, listen AJ, you're not ready for Wilder. You can't stay switched on for 36 minutes. As Joshua stated in his post-fight Usyk soliloquy, he's never going to set a Rocky Marciano pace, throwing relentless five-punch combinations. Oh, yeah, you don't throw combinations like Rocky Marciano, because I ain't f***ing 14 stone, that's why. Much of his 79% KO ratio was built early, as he dominated and intimidated overawed foes with his physical presence. The old Anthony Joshua is what we need back. We saw glimpses against, uh, of it against Franklin, but not nearly enough. Joshua has to be a lot better than he was against Franklin, or he don't beat Wilder. If he loses, what what happens? If Anthony Joshua loses, he jacks in. If he doesn't jack in, he should jack but in. But you can lose a split decision to Alexander Usyk. It's time, you, you have to retire now. What are these people talking about? Always have, I've always been team AJ against Wilder. I think it ends early as well. Under six rounds, I think AJ can stop Wilder. I think he can frustrate him a bit, maybe four or five rounds boxing and then see an opening. Wilder's 91% knockout statistic is impressive on paper, and even more so given the visuals of some of his heart-stopping finishes. And, and Joshua can turn out the lights with one punch also like he did with Linus, but Deontay is even a bigger puncher than that. He can just touch you and not even get you full shot and put your lights out. Nothing's gonna bring me down. The pair would effectively stand eye to eye, one inch longer in reach. Wilder showed in his first fights with both Stavern and Fury that he can jab and move competently when required. And he has done what he's supposed to do, using the jab, which is very good, to create opportunities for the straight right hand. What he did, like Picasso, was an extraordinary painter. Yeah. Deontay's a knockout artist. 
in a clash between two men who have previously crumbled under duress, who will cope better with the immense pressure? I know he's going to be moving nervous against Wilder, thinking of Wilder's right hand. He's going to be overthinking it too much yeah. in this game. I don't want him to overthink, but yeah. I think he will overthink because at the end of the day, my man does have devastating power. Commanding center ring is vital real estate. The tension of who lands first will leave the atmosphere on a knife edge as both men punch with devastating authority. But the end what it seemed to be a serious puncher, but he's got no respect for boxing skills and boxing technique. You know, so there's lots of room and loopholes to outbox him and to knock him out as well as you can see. I think Anthony Joshua's gonna win. Really? Why are you saying really for? Once sampled, Joshua's power stays with opponents. He wears them down and moves in for the kill when the time is right. He went phase one, but not phase two. But that safety first approach, I don't believe works against Deontay Wilder. So it's like, why waste your time doing it? Wilder holds generational punching prowess. Opponents need to be perfect for 12 rounds, while he needs only a split second to turn a fight. No, you know, you bring a confident, more confident Joshua. Then it's, uh, it, may, it may go a little bit longer than three, it may go four. He's going to fight how he needs to fight to get the job done. He's just not going to go in with his chin in the air and start swinging away. The beef brewing under the surface since their initial 2018 negotiations has made Joshua and Wilder one of boxing's biggest attractions. They want to fight Deontay, right? But they really don't. The modern day coward, what they do is outprice themselves. That's their way of saying no, because they can have behind the business. Tying up another loose end of this heavyweight era, opening a gateway for the winner to again challenge for the four titles they once held between them. I'm not trying to compare what would have been. It's a weakness. I'm just focused on smashing his head in now. That's More it. importantly, putting pressure on the Gypsy King to step out of the shadows and make fights that matter. You can't force someone to do something that they don't want to do. But unless both parties are willing, then these fights don't get made as we've seen over the years. One man holds the throne as three antagonists dispute his claim. It's time to determine the king. One champion, one face, one name. If your brain has turned into a potato, then making it into french fries golden brown and delicious is no problem. We're really aiming to turn fans' brains into onions, sharp and multi-layered. But no matter what vegetables are in people's heads, if they box, we'll serve them up on a platter in the next Motivedia presentation.